Hey guys, what's up? It's Ash. Um, just doing an update. It's been about eight days since surgery. Um, well, a week and two days, because it's Friday, <laughs> so nine days. Um, things have been going really well. The last couple of days, I've noticed um, my left nipple um, turning black in spots, and I kind of freaked out. I emailed him, and then I sent him pictures this morning, and he said that it's um, partial necrosis. I'll read what he said. Um, it appears to have partial necrosis, um, but I'm not to be alarmed, and he's not surprised. It, it takes a few weeks to heal, and it will go through a phase of sloth, where the top layer of skin comes off, an open area, and then finally hearing. Um, it, it'll it look like it has hypopigmentation after it heals for a while, which means the pigmentation will be a lot lighter in that area. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. It's I mean, it just concerned me because it was black, but I had no idea that it was dying, so that kind of sucks. No, I'm not going without my surgical binder. Um, my The skin has been freaking out being combined for 24-7, so I allowed myself an hour today of doing absolutely nothing while um, letting my skin kind of air out. But I put on little stickies to protect my nipples. Um, so he said that um, I'm supposed to put uh, back tracing ointment on it um, to help it out. So that's the bad one. And that would be the one that has absolutely no problem. So we'll do this. Bad. Oh, bad. <laughs> good. The good one is, um, it's got, it looks greasy because it's got oil on it, but all you can see is just the sutures. But as you can see with this, all this right here is black. Right there. And a little bit under there. Um, doesn't hurt, doesn't feel painful. And as you can see, all the bruising is going down and the swelling on the sides is going down. I have a little bit of fluid um, underneath each one, but keeping the vest on, is, I'm assuming kept that at minimal. The uh, sutures, God, I hate this reverse shit. All right, the sutures right here, um, they're almost completely healed up, and the stitches look like they're starting to come out. It's really, really hard not to pick at them, um, but I don't look green anymore, so that's a positive. I'm not in any pain at all. Um, the only pain that I have ever experienced lately is the nerves, I guess, healing. Um, certain parts of my skin being ultra sensitive. But other than that, everything is healing really nicely. It looks great to me. Um, what I'm excited about is once the swelling goes down, I mean, I'll really be able to see my pecs and then the nipple hanging, you know, exactly where it should um, whenever I flex them or whatever. So, I mean, that's. I mean, you can kind of see, I can't really flex that much because I don't think that's safe, but I developed all this peck in here and the nipple's just going to lay and it's going to be that nice, flat, muscled look, and I'm really, really excited about that. Um, I decided that Monday I'm going to start working out very, very lightly, um, just doing legs and, um, like forearms, anything that doesn't really, really super involve but my core. Well, I'm not in pain and I'm healing up greatly. I don't want to slow it down, but I feel good enough that I could go and do, like, um, leg exercises on a machine that don't affect the core that much, um, just to kind of stay in shape. And I found some dumbbells downstairs, and they're only 10 pounds, which isn't much of a workout, but I've just been doing arm curls with it because where it's so light, I'm not having to use a lot of other muscles. Well, normally I would do around 35 with an arm curl. These 10, I just do a lot of them. And um, it's just keeping things toned. Um, so, you know, um, and I'll probably do some shoulder raises, some lateral raises and, and front raises with them. And then, um, you know, just to keep things a little toned because it sucks working all that, working out all that time and then losing some of it. And my weakness right now has been Hershey's, you know, what, Reese's peanut butter pups. I've been eating like four of them a day. These right here, like four of these things a day. And once I ate all four of them one time and I got so sick. So I try to limit throughout the day. <laughs> but they taste so good. Um, I've been eating extremely, extremely little. I've lost my appetite um, because I'm not working out. And as you all know, I'm on Adderall, so my appetite is suppressed already. And when I was running a lot, I mean, we're talking sometimes eight miles a day, sometimes three miles a day, a lot. Um... I was hungry, so a suppressed appetite wasn't a problem. 
but where I'm not working out, I don't feel like eating, and that's really bad because um, my body does need nutrients to, to, to heal properly, so I'm forcing myself to snack on fruits and vegetables throughout the day. Like last night, I was not hungry at all. I didn't want any dinner, and so I forced myself to eat an apple and a banana. Um, and, you know, I bought some healthier cereals to eat in the morning because I still eat breakfast no matter what. Regardless of whether I'm hungry, I will eat breakfast. Um, but throughout the day, I'm having trouble eating. So, but that's the update. That's how things are going. And I hope you guys are doing really good.